Hi, this is Eric Martin from Board Game Geek. I'm here with Munir uh, with Kalora Go from MJ Games. Uh, the game for ages five and up. It's uh, five and up. Uh, it's really a children's game. I would say five to ten. You know, mm -hmm. it's a, a game from Valerie Foucard and Jean-Philippe Mars. Uh, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a game which uses speed as a mechanism and color recognition. Okay. So the base game we have. Uh, items or animals which are in black uh, and white mm -hmm. but they have their color on the other side okay so the idea would be to f quickly find the right animals with the right colors to match uh, depending on the on the constraints the color constraints that you have so the way it works is very simple we lay uh, we lay down a four by four so 16 cards on the table on the black and white side so you don't see the color mm -hmm. the active pale player turns flips up a card like this it's the black color that's there and it, everybody has each player has a set of 10 paintbrush two of each color so as soon as they see black they each at the play simultaneously they each take their two black paintbrush and try to find before the others what is in their opinion black here on the table so i would see here the, the tire, the tire and morning. the fly if i'm faster of course the other ones would have nothing to to take then we check if I'm right, basically, I win the card. And if I was wrong, the card would be discarded, but there is no penalty. In a sense, I don't lose anything, I just don't win anything, and you know, and that's it. Okay. We replace the missing cards with two new cards. Sometimes you have two that are identical. And uh, the play process with the next card, which would be, in this case, white, we don't know what color will, will pop up. You have two right. of each. Yes. Exactly. Then you jump with your two. Everybody jumps with the two, uh, the two white cards, and try to get what's white. Okay. Now, of course, the colors are the what you can expect the most. Uh, the sh the sheep is white, even though black sheep exist too. But in right. our in our in our mind, the sheep is uh, should be should be white. Uh, the the, the uh, this is red. The fish. You know, we say red fish, you know. So this is what you expect the most. You try to find objects or, or animals that really have a standard color. Okay. Uh, the game ends when you're finished with the 10 color cards. And you have, uh, of course, in most of our games, you have uh, a different level. You can always play with something more difficult with the multicolor cards where you have a special rule. You can take a whole row in one shot, basically. That, that's, if they, uh, if the, that row matches, you yeah, can... Exactly. Either. Basically, what, what's happening, uh, you flip the, the multicolor card. As soon as it happens, then each player can play uh, the color of their choice. They still play all together, but if, I'm the, if I want to play, I don't know, uh, red, and I believe there is a lot of red in one, uh, in one row, so probably this one, mm -hmm. I would place my two cards at both ends, and this is I preempt that, uh, that row. Uh, but if another player does the same thing, but uh, let's say on this way, and he plays before me, the active player is the one that we, we, we play first. Mm -hmm. So we check what's red. There are two, two red cards here only. He can take both and basically, basically he's just taken one from me because I play, I play after him. I would have gone three cards if he hadn't played that, but I only got two because the third one is gone. So there is a, uh, more strategy you have to think fast and look what what's the best the best row for you and think if you're the the first or the last player that will be uh, you know uh, exactly so that's the game very simple rules uh, fun for kids okay. uh, they they learn to play to to identify colors and it's a very short game it takes uh, 15 minutes maximum right. to play so that's important too. all right thanks very much you're welcome